Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is one star piece. So let's address the elephant in the room. I wear the same shirt all the time because I only have one of these. Yes, it's clean. It's clean. So I am kind of debating myself to do this project or not. Every time I do a project, I kind of considering what the audience wants to see. And I usually do this very crazy project. And today's project is not that crazy, not, it's, it's, it's kind of like simple. You have probably seen something like this, but I like this one and, and I want to have this one for myself. And, once I have tried it, I failed with the epoxy, but I decided today I am going to do it. And uh, I am going to do today an apple with epoxy and burr, kind of like these hybrid globes you have seen. And it will be fairly simple, a little bit of carving. Carving will be very realistic and uh, probably going to take a long time so basically the point is apples are good for me I'm a grown man if I want to have an apple I will have an apple that was a threat stay tuned like and subscribe and thank you for watching Sawdust everywhere! Mustard piece. So the epoxy has set, took it out of the mold, both of them, this one looking good, this one might be a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, so let's just start shaping it.
so I hope you enjoyed that little montage that I put together. I tried to experiment with different uh, editing techniques just to make the video more enjoyable. Anyway, I got the rough shape done and now I'm going to do a little bit of carving on it and uh, then we finish with the bottom. So let me tell you something my very sophisticated wood turner enthusiast friend. This part of the apple is never perfectly symmetrical. See? This is an apple. And here you can see these small bumps and valleys in the apple and that's what we are going to do by carving. Send it up. Sending epoxy is not the time to skip in grit. I will go up to 3000 probably and then I buff it up with two different buffing paste. So now I am going to carve the apple's bottom. Apple booty. That's probably the weirdest combination of words I have ever used. Anyway, let's get to it. So I am going to carve this bottom to look more like that. And I am probably just going to record a small montage of me carving it, otherwise this video would be too long. So, just enjoy. Look at this and tell me 
This is not the best apple booty you have ever seen. I am very talented when it comes to booties. Just to let you know. This is the first paste I am going to use and we will see. This is going to be the second paste. I use this is the final one. So let me show you what is next. Oh, you thought we are done, yeah? Huh. Are you new to this channel? <laughs> Leaf. So this is a proper apple leaf, I mean, print of a proper apple leaf. And I am going to carve this. So the first thing we are going to do is give it a little bit of movement so I want it to curve this way downward so let's just use a sanding disc and just make a rough shape. So I have the rough shape. Now I am going to use this very small file to make the edge of the leaf. Leaf Apple Apple booty Apple pad Oh I had a I lost something Need to find it Oh found it Apple pad Actually it's too large I need to cut it Like here and then you just glue it together like this and we have a proper functional apple <laughs> better than a real one real apples are boring this one proper okay use some CA glue some activator ok 
okay it was good it was really good again this is my left hand by the way because if I do it with my right you guys won't see a thing so it's your fault done now the leaf this is my right hand Mustard piece.